Now I got my kids in the uh, kitchen with me. I'm finna show y'all how I mix this food up. You wanna give them oatmeal. I, I give them oatmeal or rice, but I think oatmeal is better. It pack on a lot of calories because it's got, got a lot of carbohydrates. Oatmeal is good for adding calories to the diet of your dog. So let me show you what kind of oatmeal I get. I pretty much, I can mix the flavors up if I want to get a dog's flavor, but I'm giving them this can right here. This is just classic oatmeal. I'm finna put some water in this bucket right here and I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of these over there. So let's get some water first. We're gonna start out with some water. It's gonna be our base. Show y'all what I'm up to. You wanna make the water pure fat like this. Pure fat water. You don't want to give them faucet water. It's got a lot of stuff in there. A lot of it's lead in there. It's a lot of stuff in there that ain't good for your dogs. You want to start off with some some good uh, pure fat water. All right, let's get this going. What you want to make sure it's boiling before you start adding food. So I'm gonna be back when the water start boiling. Give me. Give me about 10 or 15 minutes to get the boil you because I got it on high and then I'm gonna be back and show y'all what I add to the food, all right? So I turned the uh, oven vent off because I'm finna start adding stuff to it, y'all. So it's not boiling yet, but you once you get it pretty hot, that's enough to start adding oatmeal. You don't even need hot water for oatmeal, y'all. All you gotta do is just put water in oatmeal and they expand themselves. And you wanna start working, you wanna start working some of this oatmeal in there, all right? Working some of that in there. That shit, then you want to check it. You want to stir it around and then check what level it is versus the water. So let's stir it around. Get one of my handy dandy stirs. It'll work fine for me. Stir the oatmeal around, see what level it's at. Now, when you stir it up first, it's going to oatmeal float, so it might float a little bit. Then you, then you let it go, leave it alone, look at the level, see where it's at, you know, then you take it from there. All right, all right, y'all. I've got to tell y'all. Also, add frozen baby carrots. I'm gonna add some into this. I'm gonna show y'all where we at with the oatmeal right now. Check this out. So this is where we at. You know, definitely don't want the camera to fall in there. This is where we at right now with the oatmeal. See the little texture of it. See the oatmeal right now. It probably tastes better to the dogs if you had a little flavor in there with the oatmeal. It's, it is gonna add some flavor. All the meat and stuff I'm putting in there. Then here goes. Sweet potatoes. They ain't floating yet, but you can, you know, kind of press them. See that they ain't finished yet, you know? And then when they're finished, we're going to take them off with a paper towel. I'm going to show you how to get the skin off real quick and easy. Either you can peel it or you can just use a paper towel, but it might be too hot. Because you got to think it's very similar to a potato because it is a potato. It's going to be so hot you can't grab it with no paper towel. Maybe a towel, but I don't got no towels I could just use for sweet potatoes. So I'm going to just peel it off maybe with a fork. I don't know. I'm going to get it real soft enough to make sure I can get the skin off easy and mush it up inside of this big old pal here and mix it around with this. But I'm going to start adding some of the stuff in here, y'all. So stick with me. Here we go. Get that night out. Some double bags. Get down into that double bag like that. And I'm going to grab the meat. And let that meat go to its rightful place. Putting that meat in there like bow, like bow. Now we can see how many pounds of meat this was, y'all. And it was, um, three pounds. Three pounds of meat. See it? So you do half, you do a pound and a half, and then you do the other pound and a half. You can freeze it. However you want to do it. All right, y'all. Then you want to get these baby carrots open and put the whole bag inside of that pot, too. So let me get 
these open. There we go. Nice sauerkraut in there. Hey. Now I'm gonna cut these string beans and throw them in here, y'all, and I'll be back. You know, I realize that some of these steps may not be as clear as I might like to think, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show y'all exactly what I'm doing with the string beans. I take this end off, Take this end off, both ends off, and then I break it in three or four pieces depending on how long it is so it can be small enough for the dogs to chew. We don't want them to be choking on none of the stuff that we want to feed them. The last thing we want to do is choke our dogs. You get what I'm saying? And I break that end off and then one, and I put the other pieces here. I'm going to show you all my setup real quick in a moment. So these, this all the pieces that I'm breaking off, right? The, the ends that I'm breaking off, and these all the pieces that I'm breaking into pieces, if that make any sense. I'm going to tune back in when I'm adding these to the bowl and I'm doing some more stuff into the making of a food, y'all. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. As y'all can see, I got a, just about a bowl of this. I don't know how many ounces is this bowl. I'm going to look on it. And I'm going to add them in there. This is a two and a half cups. This is it's two and a half cups. Two and a half cups of string beans. And it had just about as many uh, car uh, just as many carrots was in there. About two and a half cups of carrots was about that bag. I can look at the bag and tell you the specific details. But let's get back to adding the stuff, y'all. All right, y'all. I'm opening up the chicken liver. It's chicken liver. You don't want to put this entire thing in there. Let me see how much chicken liver it is. 1.25 pounds of chicken liver. Let's just do the sardines first, guys, okay? Sardines first. We're gonna let this water out, and then we wanna crack this open all the way. Add these sardines in here. Omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. And yes, it does stink. Smell fishy, y'all, it's okay. You want to add this. Chicken liver. Whole thing of chicken liver. And you want to clean this out and throw it away too. Now it's just about time to put the potatoes in there. Let's get the skin off of these potatoes, y'all. Y'all can see the skin coming right off. That's how you know it's been boiling long enough when the skin come right off. See that? I have to apologize in advance for me not showing y'all everything that I added here. What I basically skinned the potatoes, I added the, I added three eggs. I showed y'all me adding the chicken livers. I showed y'all me adding the uh, sardines. 
But now I'm finna grind up some powder, which is basically really good fine calcium. I'm gonna grind it up in this, and then I'm gonna put it in here. I kinda got them heating up in the oven right now. They in here, eggshells are. I'm finna pull them out a couple seconds, put them in there, then I'm gonna put them in here. Let's get it. All right, y'all, I just took these out the oven from being on 200, and I'm about to blend them up. I know y'all probably can hear these kids in the background, but it's all cool. This is the uh, all the calcium I just added to this. Now I'm finished with it, y'all. I'm finna give it give half of that Victor right there, this professional classic Victor to the dogs, and then I'm gonna give them half of this in a bowl, and then I'm giving them some of that uh, liquid gold and some astromate because they should be going to heat in the next six months, and then y'all finna see them devour this food right now. And that's the end of this video, y'all. Make sure you follow me on Frenchies at IG at F R I E N C H I E S O F underscore I G if you want to inquire about dogs. And I'm out. Here they go eating, y'all. Here they go. They're going to tear it up. <laughs>